Is that what you're referring to? Yeah, yeah, the stuff that they, they claim to do for free, but also if there's any um, higher levels of media checks that are done that are an added service, I'd be interested in hearing about those as well. Yeah, the standard um, verbatim, when deposit materials are received, an escrow tech deposit specialist conducts an inspection and physical audit in accordance with escrow tech's proprietary procedures and checklist. Discovered discrepancies are reported in writing for correction. That's what they claim to do for free. Okay, and it sounds like you're just reading that off uh, sales email you got from them? Yeah. Okay. Um, my impression was um, I'm not... Yeah, my impression was that they just verified it, made sure that everything lined up with what should be there. Um, okay. and that's it. Um, okay. But then they, you know, they did offer the full. Um, yeah. Yeah, they they did offer the full. Uh, Media check. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, so, you know, I recognize we're getting close to the half hour here, and I'm cognizant of your time. Um, I have one last section uh, of questions and a topic that I really want to go over, and that's on the negotiation of the contract itself. Um, and again, just putting it back out there, I'm not interested in any kind of proprietary information, so you don't, don't feel like you got to tell me anything. Um, in, in your opinion, when you enter negotiations with these individuals, um, you mentioned that Iron Mountain charged whatever it was, 500 bucks, um, even to start negotiating with them. Right, yeah, I mean, that wasn't so much speaking with them. It was like, when I need them to review the changes to their standard agreements and instructions, yep. um, that's when they charged it every time, okay. back and forth. I mean, they kind of hinted that they didn't, and that they, uh, the last time they hinted they wouldn't charge it, really, until it starts getting difficult. But I was like, well, from the get-go, I can tell you this is going to be a difficult one based upon the oddity of this. So mm. um, I just was like, well, I'm not going to deal with that. So. Yep. Yeah, and so you immediately went to Escrow Tech, who doesn't charge that that fee. Yeah, well, actually, I didn't go with Escrow Tech either, but I mean, they were closer to what I wanted. Okay. Than, um, okay. Than I found last time, anyway. So. Okay. Did you uh, engage in any negotiations with Escrow Tech? Yeah, I mean, okay. we figured out and started the process, and then I decided to go with someone else. So. Okay. Okay. Um, so in your opinion, who out of Escrow Tech and, and, and Iron Mountain, and I imagine it would be Escrow Tech, but I want to hear it from you, who was easier to work with? Um, I liked um, Escrow Tech more. I just got really tired of hearing how, to be honest with you, um, not that I wouldn't be, but uh, Iron Mountain just pinpointed and their value proposition was really that we are big and we work with everybody that's important and that's just not a selling feature to me, so. Right, right, okay, okay. Um, how important was, um, when you entered that negotiation phase, how important to you was it to feel that they were willing to negotiate with you? Very important, and not just that, but work, be collaborative as well, so. Right, right, and so it, does it, it, it seems like it, but I just want to make sure. It, it sounds like you didn't necessarily get that feeling from Iron Mountain. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Um, and so for, for those fees that Iron Mountain wanted to charge you, the, the $500, are those reimbursable uh, if you don't sign the contract? Well, I don't pay that unless I sign anything. It's not like you pay, you know, they have no recourse if I don't. You know, right, I don't right. Like any sort of thing right that I would pay that. They just charge that. Okay, okay. Um, was there any kind of limit on the initial negotiation period, uh, excuse me, period, and, you know, say you reach a certain number of hours you've been negotiating, you have to pay additional fees to continue? No. Um, okay. No. Okay, okay. Would, in your opinion, would um, Escrow Tech or Iron Mountain, um, would they, if you came up to them and had your own contract that you've used before with others, um, would they be at all willing to accept that at all, or did you get that sense, or was it their way, you know, with a little, a few modifications of the highway? You know, I didn't even ask. I, I don't know. I mean, I got the sense that Iron Mountain was stuck um, a little bit more. Okay. I got this in, I, you know, the ones that I, you know, dealt with more were more willing to do whatever I asked, which is why I liked them better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, of course. And it sounds like the, the first, what was the fourth company you mentioned? It was National Escrow? Software Escrow, yeah. Uh, Software Escrow. And is that the company?